so patient. Not a problem. Thank you. Yes. Who, who voted against that? Is it late? It is. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm sorry. All right. HA 2020-01. This case in front of you is a higher variance case. It is for Providence Missionary Baptist Church. It is located on the corner of Washington West Park Street in an R10 zoning district. The property is about 11 hundredths of an acre. I'm a little over a tenth of an acre. The applicant is located at 707 West Park Street and it contains an existing church with a walkway and a small porch covering. Um, the reason this is in front of you is because they are looking to expand the roof covering over the side door as well as add some handrails to their ramp, their walkway. Um, after looking at the parcel a little bit further, we realized that they needed some more variances to bring the building into conformity. The building's bigger on a smaller lot and was built before was built before the zoning regs came into existence. So it doesn't conform to today's regulations for Hayhara. So we're asking, we're considering two variances, two sets of variances, one for the existing building as is, one for the handrails and for the porch covering, porch roof extension addition. Um, there are a lot of numbers in your staff report for both the handicap ramp, walkway, uh, walkway rails, and the roof covering, as well as the building itself. Staff realizes that the building has existed as is for years, for decades, and we feel like we can support the variance, awarding the, granting the variance for the setbacks for the existing building. However, we do not support, find any hardship for any further encroachment into the setbacks for the, either the roof covering or the walkway ramp. Um, my mind is really blown. That's a good <laughs> Correct. Any questions? Tracy, Tracy. Uh, yes, sir. You, you said that you were in favor of bringing the uh, various for the existing building. Existing. Correct. Yes, sir. But not for the sidewalk or is it the porch shape or? It is a. They are expanding the. They are expanding the awning, the roof over the side entrance door. Okay. They are adding, proposing to add walkway, walkway steps, steps and ramp. So, so a metal awning and steps and ramp. We don't want to give a very. The. Is it going to be in the road? Some of the roof of the extent of the addition of the of the of the porch roof is by about a foot. Um, the ramp, the rails itself are about an inch from the right of way. So if we cut the roof back a foot, would you have a different opinion? Probably not. This is where they want to put an additional. Yes, roof. sir. Yes, ma'am. So just be like a, just be right up on the e. Yes, sir. Is that just to cover that concrete area? It's Come to cover the, the concrete the area, the steps, and a ramp that will be that is proposed to be added, which or a walkway. Way, which way is the ramp going? Um, can we move to the side plan, please? So the ramp's going on that side right there. Move up to the elevation, please. The ramp is in the southwest corner, as is the covering. We, we don't have any elevation renderings? Um, I do not, no, sir. All we have is this, well, there's the okay. photograph. There's the, where the expansion is. That's the back side door. You see the pavement of the road. That's not the right-of-way line. The right-of-way line is up where that concrete landing is. Where do you live? 
where the steps are. That steps are encroaching. They're, the steps are encroaching. And the ramp, they're proposing to extend the roof further out, expand the ramp, the step area, cover a little bit more of it, install more railings. I mean, generally improvement, but they're adding more features against the right-of-way line or into the right-of-way. Matt, would you have heartburn if they extended the ramps and turned the steps away from the road coming back down this way? They're proposing to do the ramp parallel to the building, which is the only way that makes sense. Yeah, right. I'm talking about so they also there. do that with the steps. I'm talking about putting the steps along the side of the building, not going, going north. Yes. 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 Would you have any heartburn with that? that? It's up to the applicant. That keeps them out of the right of way. Yes, that's what we're trying to do. I'm not sure that's what they want. And in all honesty, I was the one who had the pre-app with the applicant. I did not realize, and I don't know that they realized until I saw the site plan that part of their improvements, their existing improvements, are already in the right of way. So Matt, what do you think about the, what we mentioned earlier, Tracy, I'm sorry, about, about if, if, if they bring the awning back in some, to, just to cover the ramp, are you, I mean, what's the ramp, four feet? Ballpark. And what's it from the church to the road, the building to the road? It is about five feet from the building to the road. Five feet? Mm-hmm. To the right of it. To the right. It's got to be to the right of it. It's more than that. The steps have to be to the right of it. Yeah, I know. Right. I'm just trying to get the awning back if I can. No, it... Can awning cover the existing ramp? The awning, if it was in, if it was expanded at all, I mean, it's already in the right, it's already in the setback. I know, but, but the ramp is already in the setback, right? Correct. Yes, so, sir. So my question is, if they don't extend it, they just just covered the ramp. Is that excessive? Is that the variance? The variance. Okay. And that's where they want to put the rails. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, they want to come further out. Listen, I have a question. How long has that been sitting there that way? My whole life. Over years. Huh? Yeah, Over years. A lot longer than I've been around. <laughs> okay. It's been sitting there all this time. You know, last year, a year before, maybe three years ago, oh, we had some stuff over there. And I said, uh, well, you're over there in A. Harris. There's no telling. Oh, man. The folks from A. Harris jumped up and they Wait just had a. Uh, now listen to me now. Listen very carefully now. And, and we said it's been a long time. It's been that way. It's always been that way. Let it go. Now and all of a sudden we want to get the glory hallelujah blues. Let us do what we have to do. Turn that thing and let them folks go worshiping God. They might get you in heaven. Let's Let's not get carried away and get all sanctimonious on it, okay? Because if you go through a hatter, every other building is in a right of way or don't have enough setback. Now all of a sudden we want to uh, uh, get all carried away. Let me, let me. You know where hey hatter is at? I don't know where it's at. I don't even go over in there either. And so, uh, I live there. So. No, I know you do. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, well, let's, let's get, yeah, let's get back on track. Yeah. Um, is there, is there, a, is there a, a way that we can just make yeah. an exception? To yeah, I, I think in a motion, you know, if we were to say something, just cover your existing ramp. You know. Let, see let's see what they have to say okay. first before we get scared away. Is staff okay with that? It is totally at the board's discretion. Okay. You're, you would still recommend denial. Is that what you're saying? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Maybe All right. If we don't support increasing the nonconformity. I understand. If what? You know, you don't support increasing the nonconformity. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get somebody up here. Um, is there anyone here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? Please come forward. State your name and address for the record, please. <laughs> <laughs> you have been a true burr. Thank you for hanging with us. Now I'm on my hands. Now I'm on my hands. Uh, James Clinkscales. Uh, I live at 3802 Tiffany Place, Alaska. Uh, I am a member of Parliament Commissioner Harris. 
church. Uh, a lot of this work that you see was done <laughs> way, way ago. Yes, a long time ago. And what it is is we had an insurance adjuster come by and we, we was doing remodeling and he was telling us what we needed for our, for our policies. And when we had the adjuster in, uh, one of the problems we had, when this was done, there was no such thing as that. Uh, getting people in with walkers, wheelchairs, and that was the issue we tried to get in. Uh, what we was actually proposing and trying to do is have a landing with a dump, and then the walkway ramp goes down the side of the building with the rails. Uh, when we did the survey, that's when we found out the property lines, ooh, the property lines of the building, it zigzagged along the building. So they didn't even worry about property lines. Um, we're trying to do compliance with ADA requirements. Also, we want to keep, like I said, we have people with walkers, we have people with chairs, they're going to get out of church, and we want to make it safe. The front entrance to the church, it has high steps, and it's to put a ramp on that, we'll probably be at 80%. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is comply with what needs to be done to get everybody in. All right, Mr. Plentfield, let me ask you a question. If we were to, um, <laughs> yeah, can we go back to the elevation of the side of the building, please? If we were to allow or make a motion to allow you to cover your existing ramp, and I understand your insurance company wants rails, would that be amenable to And eliminate the steps? Well, you could turn them sideways. Mm -hmm. um, if we did uh, bring them off this way, I would talk to Pastor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pastor, yeah. if you could give us your name and address, please. That's Marcus Haynes, 2530 Riverside Road, Dock, Jordan Food and Security. All right. So, Pastor, I'll put the question to you then. Would it be, a, if we were to make a motion to cover your existing ramp and add the rails, to bring you in compliance with your insurance company, would that be amenable to you all? It's almost perfect because that's what we want. That's all we want. Okay. And we wanted to make sure that we had the handrail coming up on both sides because I noticed that, you know, we, we get more older, you know, people coming in from time to time. And I, I would really hate to see anything happen, you know, something that we could do something about. And the, uh, when the insurance representative came, he didn't do nothing but, you know, just you know, put a step on what I was already thinking. Right. But yeah, that's that's what we were thinking about. All right. But the things, if you had the ramp with the rails, you, you don't really need the steps, do you? I mean, at all. The, the steps out in front, if we, we had, we're, we're really not doing anything with the steps. As far as it coming out, the little the little awning that's over the door, it's almost to the edge of the pad, but it's, it's not quite there. And that's what we were thinking about, just going to the edge of the pad so that they, you know, when they come in, they'll be able to stay dry. You know, and as well as have a hand What I'm asking is, if you have the ramp, why you don't need the steps? Do you can demo the yeah, upright. Right. It's just it's, it's possible. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the only yeah. could come out to cover the hey. pad, hey. 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 and then put the handicap ramp down the side. You could use the handicap ramp for almost everything. Yeah, it's there. We're just yeah. talking about covering it's, yeah. it up. It's in place. Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's in place. Yes, sir. Oh, it's already, is the ramp already there? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Would you hear? No. Oh, the, uh, the steps oh, oh, would be yeah, eliminated. Yeah. I mean, what, what would be the problem with eliminating the steps? I mean, they're the ones that are actually seeing over the... Uh, yeah. Right. right. I, I don't see why they could... That way we're kind of giving yeah. and taking a little bit. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate y'all very much. So, so, so what, what would they do now? They would remove these steps? So they would go and give them a board. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Give yeah. them those steps. Yeah. Yeah. And That's the better than peanut butter cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, you very much. Uh, all right, um, I think we've used our time. Is there anyone tonight wishing to speak against this request? Please come forward. Yeah. All right, if not, we'll turn it back over to the commissioners for discussion. All right, everybody. See, you can just see down the back side, okay. Tommy, where it's buried. I, mean, I can dip, see now. Yeah, dip it down. Mm -hmm. I didn't break it. I thought we were building a ramp. I'm no, it's there. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Is there someone who's ready to make a motion on this? Madam Chair. Yes, Commissioner Bailey. Uh, on case HA 2020-13, Providence Missionary Baptist Church, we have before us all kinds of language uh, that city is recommending now. I recommend that we approve it with conditions, and the conditions are that we will allow them to put a covered awning over the existing pad and ramp, not to exceed the edge, with the necessary handrails as per insurance code, and at the same time, demo the concrete steps that are in place. Okay. I'll take it back. All right, we've got a second. Second from um, Commissioner Riles. Okay, so we have a motion to approve this request. The awning will cover the existing pad and the existing ramp, adding rails on the ramp and removing the existing steps. All right? Is there any discussion? Make sure we understand that you see what is existing yes ma'am okay so clarifying that that is what is existing all right is there any discussion on that if not all those in favor raise your right hand all those against and it is approved thank you and thank you all for being